guys, it's Britt. Thanks for tuning in to part four of the cruise vlog. So like I said in my previous vlogs, unfortunately due to technical issues, my audio is a little messed up. So I will be dubbing over all of my materials, so please forgive me and here we go. Hey guys, it's Britt and we're here at Castaway Key and you can see it from our room. Look how tiny she is. Oh, and you can even see like the family beach right there. Castaway Key is Disney's private island. And while Disney has four cruise ships, you'll never see all four of them here at the same time. Each ship only comes here when it's by itself. So the only people on the island are us. If you have a Disney Caribbean cruise booked, chances are this is going to be one of your stops. I'm wearing one of my custom shirts that one of my followers, Katie, made me. So thank you, Katie. I have my custom gear, I've got my swimsuit on, I am ready to go, so let's head on to Castaway Key. Thank you! Bye boat! And here are all the other boats you can rent for parasailing and fishing. And right down there is the family beach, which is the closest beach to the boat. And here is the tram that will take you around the island. I feel like I'm back at Magic Kingdom. I'm kind of surprised how small the shopping areas are. I expected more. Um, do Minnie and Daisy not go to the beach? And we're on our way to the adults only beach, Serenity Bay. Look how stinking gorgeous this is. And here's our spot. The benefit of being one of the first people here. One activity that Jen and I both knew that we wanted to do before coming onto the island was renting bikes. The bike rental was actually pretty inexpensive. It was $13 per person, which is one of the cheaper excursions on the island. And we decided to come and do this first thing in the morning. One, so we get sweaty now and the water gets it off of us. And two, there's nobody around. I mean, look at this view. It's gorgeous and we don't even have to share it. Here is the watchtower that we've been looking for. If you go up the stairs, you're supposed to get some really cool views of Castaway Key. It did take us about a half hour from Serenity Bay to get here, but these views are beautiful. Hi, Dream. It almost looks like she's swimming on the trees. This is really cool. I really love this. Jen and I just finished up our bike ride and it was pretty good. There's no one set bike path. There's one main path, which is a big road, and there are a couple little roads that you can DV off to and explore. One thing Disney does that is absolutely ingenious is they have water stops every few feet or so. So if you need some water, it's there and you don't need to bring a bottle. I will say the bikes are super cheap and they're not good bikes, but they get the job done. And I think I'm ready for lunch. Castaway Key does have two dining locations. The first is near Serenity Bay, which is the adults only beach. So this is the adults only dining. And they also have a location near that family beach for everyone. They serve the exact same food, so it doesn't matter where you go, it just depends on the type of dining experience you want. Can I take him home, please? Yes, yes I can. We have now made our way over to the family beach for some snorkeling.
just got back from snorkeling and it was really, really cool. So as you guys saw through my GoPro footage, I saw a couple stingrays, obviously fish. I saw that turtle. The turtle I was really disappointed because I only had about 2% battery left on my GoPro so I didn't get the full footage. But I was swimming along with the turtle and the turtle kept popping his head up into the air or kept popping his head out of the water to get air. It was ridiculously cute. We were all following him. It was really, really fun. There's this little thing going on where we met this couple, Stephen and Stephanie, on the ship and almost every day we ran into each other. Um, so we're kind of like, you know, Clues Buddy stalkers. Today I ended up meeting him at the Mickey statue, which was kind of funny. And that is who you saw touching the Mickey statue, so that was really cool. One tip I do give for anybody who is coming out here, look for the white buoys. The first white buoy is the mini statue, and the second white buoy is the Mickey statue. Those statues I found extremely hard to find. I was out there for two hours. It was ridiculous until I found out about the white buoy situation. So if you want to find Mickey and Minnie, look for the round white buoys. And then all the round red buoys are like mini things, like that ship that was underwater. There was like a sunken submarine. So all that stuff is the red buoys. But yeah, that was super cool. I highly recommend that. That's probably my favorite thing on Castaway Key right now. It's time to hit the water slide. This is right across from the family beach, so it's pretty easy to find. Round two, in the clothes slide. Woo! I kicked out the first. <laughs> Big tip for you guys. Do the water slides later in the day. I've been talking to some other guests on the ship, and they waited like a half an hour for those slides. For one slide. That's crazy. Don't do that. Wait till around 3 o'clock when all the kids are either heading back onto the ship or they're just done with the slide. That's the best way to do it. Cause I would recommend doing the bike ride first because number one, it'll be cooler in the day. And number two, it just leaves you more time to relax. If you get all sweaty from the bike ride, then you just go on the beach. Jen and I are back from Castaway Key. And it's pirate night! With the pirate menu, it's the same menu at every restaurant, so it doesn't matter where you eat. The only restaurants that won't have pirate food is going to be Remy and Paolo, which will have their typical menus. Also, I'm really, really red right now, and it hurts. I put on SPF 50 three times today, and it still was not enough. If you're in the water, it might be a good idea to come out every hour or so and re-lotion back up. The sun is strong here, and I'm from Florida, so I'm used to a strong sun, so this is bad. Anyway, let's go have some piratey fun. Arg! And here is the menu for Pirate Night. Like I said, every restaurant is having the same menu. Tonight we're eating at Enchanted Garden again, so I think it's pretty typical to get the same restaurant two nights in a row for the Fort Night Cruise. This is what the crab cake looks like, and the chilled mango soup, the grouper, and the lamb shank, along with the seafood pasta. Like in every previous cruise vlog, Jen and I ordered every dessert on the menu. The really cool thing is that at this point, our waiter kind of knew what we were doing, and so he didn't even ask us what we wanted for dessert anymore. He just brought out everything. Time for fireworks.
little towel friend for the night. I have no clue what this is supposed to be. But I love how his chocolate is pirate themed. That's pretty cute. This is only kind of morbid. The dinner menu was... Nah, it was uh, it was very comparable to the animator's palette meal. The crab cake appetizer was phenomenal. That was delicious. But everything else was kind of nah. After dinner, we went to go see the fireworks. The aqua dock blocked our view of the fireworks, so I don't recommend going on that side of the ship. Do not go on the side of the ship where the aqua dock entrance is. I thought these fireworks were terrible. They only lasted about three minutes. That's it. Three minutes. That's it. They are the only cruise ship with fireworks, and that's fantastic. But you got to give me more than three minutes. Overall, today was a great day. Castaway Key is absolutely incredible. It's quiet. There's so much to do. You can't get it all done in one day. If you like this video, please subscribe. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Have any of you guys done the Pirate Night on the Disney Cruise? What do you think about it? Leave a comment down below. This is Britt, ending today's chapter.